So most of us are used to a residential refrigerator in our home or apartment in our sticks and bricks, but when you live in an RV, well, space is a little more challenging and most of us have to live with a much smaller fridge than we're used to. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you our RV fridge and how we maximize the space and storage for our life on the road. Stay tuned. take a look at a few things I do to keep our fridge organized actually not too stocked at the moment so I need to do a grocery shop but I can give you a few ideas of what we do here you'll see that this top little shelf it's it's not very practical in size so I try to pop things that I'm not using very often just you know big jars or tahini I've got some bouillon there's some coffee capers salsas good to fit up there as well I like to keep an open container of some uh, baking soda just to absorb any fridge odors so that's always in there um, eggs we always keep on this top shelf they just really seem to work there this even fits one of those large uh, 36 flats of eggs from Costco and this is at this little corner these are the containers I was showing you before that these small ones really even this size can just squeeze in here so it's a really having all of these different size and shape containers just gives you a lot more flexibility in making the most of your fridge especially if you've got a small six or eight cubic foot fridge in an rv like we do this is not a residential fridge obviously so you've just got to make the most of every inch so you might remember too that i was talking about these containers how they're really good for traveling and these are locked in place so when you're driving down the road if you've got multiple containers you can see even in this space here using the different shapes and size containers you can actually fit quite a lot in this small space if you're really clever about it it's a bit it's a bit like playing tetris in your fridge definitely time for a grocery shop around here but <laughs> here's what i mean about the debbie Meyer space bags i just use them with a, an elastic band and you can literally you know just put things in wherever they will fit things like scallions can pretty much fit in anywhere when you've come back from a big grocery shop that's really handy to be able to put something like this in that is only the size of the vegetable instead of a container which is a lot harder to maneuver but uh, definitely need a bit of a grocery shop around here we usually have two of these we still have the other one we just find it more practical to keep that space open over here in the fridge door we try not to keep things that are too heavy here because th these are only plastic shelves they're expensive and they break easily we've broken one only i think it was cracked when we already bought the rv but when it did break i was really surprised that a replacement with shipping cost me the best part of 60 dollars for one of these cheap crappy plastic shelves so i take good care of them now because i don't want to keep forking out 60 dollars for cheap crappy plastic fridge shelves <laughs> so these are all plastic containers um believe it or not these are even plastic vinegar containers and these tend to be vinegars and sauces and by having all the same size and shape containers it actually is a more efficient way to store them because it's maximizing you know these odd shapes a little more limiting but uh, those ones aren't too bad but yeah you can get a lot in here with the same size and shape but recommend plastic obviously ideally bpa free plastic if you can uh, this one's glass, but I just try not to keep too much glass in here to avoid the weight because again Especially when you're driving that's extra weight on the shelf and you don't want to pay 60 bucks for it up here Again those rubber made boxes that I mentioned earlier these little ones are awesome for things like you know nuts or uh, Cranberries or anything small or if you've got small leftovers and that all fits in that top shelf really really nicely so yeah, keep things like milk down the bottom. That's the fridge. Let's take a look at the freezer. So our RV freezer's pretty small. It actually does have an ice maker, but we removed the ice maker box and turned off the ice maker because we really don't use that much ice and we wanted to have the extra space for food instead. And because we don't use that much ice, we make ice the old-fashioned way using ice cube makers. This one is great because you can fill it up with water and a lid and then lay it in there and then they actually pop out as ice cubes and you could put those in a plastic bag and then keep making them big round i feel really like ice to last you a long time i mean these last ages these you can get these in most liquor stores i guess and and uh, we got these at the maker's mark when we did the distillery tour but these huge big ice cubes will last forever and we just make them and keep them in the freezer but you can see we don't use them very often up here again more of these rubber made containers are super handy 
more of this Talenti sea salt caramel ice cream, which <laughs> is also handy. <laughs> I don't think I need any more storage containers, but I haven't found a reason to stop buying the ice cream. <laughs> this is handy. It's called Wine to Go, I think. So it's like a 750 ml plastic flask that we fill with water. I think it's designed for wine, but we fill it with water. And then when we go on hikes or on a picnic, we can throw this in to keep the food cold as an ice block. But then as it melts, we've got nice cold drinking water. So that is a really handy little thing as well. I'll see if I can find the link for that. And it's probably on Amazon or something. But again, containers of different shapes and sizes that lock into each other. Really, really handy for your RV fridge and freezer. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some useful tips and ideas in there. I'm curious to know what kind of fridge you have in your RV and what you like about it, what you don't, because this is something that a lot of people are weighing up when they're shopping for their RV, what is going to be the best kind of RV for their needs. We've gotten by really great for four years with a uh, with a propane electric fridge, a regular RV fridge, but we can also see huge benefits to having a residential. So we'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Pop them down in the comments below. Uh, of course, like this video, share it with anyone else you think might find it useful. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications of new videos, and until next time, we'll see you on the road.